Welcome to my unboxing of a router that I'm actually surprisingly excited about. This is the D-Link DIR505. It's an all-in-one mobile companion, which I think they mean to say is mini router. Great for traveling, and it sure is. Transforms any internet connection into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So, you know what, let's, let's start by getting it opened up. But this thing is extremely cool. So it's, it's the size of like, I don't know, the size of a wall wart, basically. And it will provide you with, check this out. So it turns your, uh, your WAN connection into a hotspot that you can connect up to 50 devices to. It also has a bunch of other cool features. So let's start with, hold on, hold on, okay. Let's start with the uh, sexy ribbon cable, ethernet cable that comes with it. Very, very nice. Love to see that. You can bundle that up nice and small and pack it with you wherever you go. You've also got links to the mobile apps and the mobile app that's included is like just killer actually. So here, okay, we got this, we got this, we got a uh, oh, little card that conveniently tells you all the default information about it, which will be handy because you'll be sort of moving around with it and you won't necessarily have your instruction manual handy. That we don't need. So let's have a look at what D-Link has to say for themselves and why I'm all like stoked on this router at this point. So features, multiple operation modes. So it can either be a router slash access point or it can be a repeater or it can be a repeater or a Wi-Fi um, network extender. Very cool. Okay. 802.11n. So yes, it's wireless N. Mode well, selector switch. Uh, really? No way. Check that out. It has a hard where switch to change it from router slash AP mode to Wi-Fi hotspot where it's not acting as a router such as if you're in a hotel to repeater mode where if you're using this at home and you're just like you know gonna plug it in discreetly sorry about that so you can discreetly plug them in if you're gonna use it as a wireless network extender you've got your WPS button as well as your hard reset button like it has all the functionality that like oh no there's your hardware hard reset okay I don't know what this is oh it's an indicator LED Duh. okay um, doesn't come apart in any way. So, oh yeah, there, look, it's got your default uh, information right on there as well. That's very cool. So you just have to take it out of the wall, have a look at it if you don't happen to have that card handy. So, moving right along, supports charging smartphones over USB. How cool is that? So this USB port here can be used to charge something USB while it's, you know, conveniently plugged in, or you can even use it as a share port with the included app, which is available either on the App Store or on Google Play. So cool. So you, pl you throw a USB key on there, and then uh, using the supported, using the app, you just beam it to yourself over your wireless network. Very cool. Okay, so moving right along. Uh, Wi-Fi protected setup. Yep, yep. Dual active firewalls, SPI and NAT, only in router mode. Okay, the share port, aha. In router and Wi-Fi hotspot mode only, which makes sense because otherwise how would it, uh, how would it even gain any access to the network at all? Share port mobile app for iPhone and iPad. Okay, router and Wi-Fi hotspot mode. Okay, so web file access, wall plug design for more convenient use, elegant design, compact size, does not block other outlets, one touch AP configuration, guest zone support, 24 seven basic installation support, and a one year warranty. So basically, this is the kind of thing where if you can't figure out the practical applications of it, then you probably don't need one. And if you can, then you're probably just as excited about this as I am. Travel routers are very popular because if you do travel a lot, the single Ethernet port in your stupid hotel room is often not enough if you have visitors or if you have multiple devices, like you have your laptop and you have a tablet, for example, which is pretty common these days. So this solves that problem and it does it in a very compelling form factor. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Say, fella, is that a router in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me?